The Nords of Morrowind generally fall into one of two categories. The civilized, gentrified, and even noble Nords encountered in cities and towns, making up the first class, and the various bandits, marauders, and even necromancers, hidden away in caves or dotting the landscape, falling into the more dubious group. But there's a third, more curious section of the Nords, those of the naked variety. These buff boys aren't bandits or brigands, but just your average Nord who for one reason or another is wandering the waste in his birthday suit. Despite the lack of basic clothing, they still manage to carry some nice gear, including fine axes and a very cozy helmet. Today, we'll be tracking down these nudists and finding out just why they're standing on the roadside butt naked. And as always, I'll show you how to add their interesting items to your inventory. First up today is Hissen Deep Raid, a barbarian located directly west of Aldrun's western gate. The easiest way to find him is to head towards the tree line, where the wastes start to give way to forest. Hissen will be just past this point, down a small hill from the first trees. Don't expect him to make the first move, or any move for that matter, as speaking to him reveals that he's been cursed by a foul witch, who gave him some enchanted disease as he calls it, named Witch Wither. Apparently, he was hired to escort the allegedly portly woman, but he was ensorcelled and left here in his underwear for the world to mock like the recurring nightmare you have of going to school naked. At least Hissen's problem is easily fixed if you happen to bring along a potion or spell of cure common disease. Not cure paralysis, as this will softlock the quest by only curing the symptoms. This is apparently a proper illness. Once you've provided him with a cure, he'll declare that you're now friends and thank you by handing over his family helm, the Ice Cap, before leaving to confront his bully. This cozy cap may not look like much at first, but it's practically a must-have for any non-Nord thinking about visiting the icy island of Solstheim, as it provides a constant 30 points of resist frost. Just keep some repair hammers handy, as it can be a bit on the fragile side. Next on our showcase is Botrear. He was hired to escort a woman to tell a rune, and we can find him just to the north of the Telvanni Tower. The easiest way to find him is to head to the nearby ancient Dunbar stronghold of Endoranion and travel west. Botrear can be found on the road leading from the nearby tower of Hanud. Unlike Hissen, Botrear isn't paralyzed, just very angry at the woman who hired him. Everything had started out okay. The woman, Iveri Lothothri, had been very friendly. Then, when he least expected it, she cast a spell on Bodrir and he fell asleep. When he woke up, he discovered that she had robbed him blind, even taking his familial axe, Widowmaker. This time, we can actually help track down the witch. Bodrir tells us he believes she headed off to the northwest and wants you to lead the way. Ivari is exactly northwest from here, with Andalore Ancestral Tomb located directly between the two. Go past the tomb and crest the hill behind it. Over the hill ahead is a small camp with a lone occupant. This is the fearsome witch that ensorcelled the Nord, and she isn't taking any chances. Once she sees Botrir, Ivari will attack, leaving few options but to fight. In her inventory is the Axe Widowmaker a two-handed Nordic battle axe with a maximum attack of 1 to 35, plus an extremely impressive enchantment of Fortify Axe 25 to 100 points for 10 seconds, along with a complimentary Restore Fatigue 20 to 40 points for 10 seconds. As soon as you claim the axe, Botrir will ask nicely for his axe back, and we're presented with two options. We can return it, and he'll thank you for your help by teaching you about axes, raising the skill by one. Well and good, right? The second option is to tell him that little babies shouldn't play with sharp objects, and that his axe is now his ex. This will cause him to attack you and or die. The best solution here is to give him the axe back, and then take it off his corpse once you have the skill points. Widowmaker is a fine example of Nordic craftsmanship that you don't see very much on Vardenfell, and with its remarkable enchantments, even a novice Bosmer could swing it like a master axeman. For our final entry today, we have Lormar Winesot, also a barbarian escort who was, you guessed it, robbed by a witch who stole all of his belongings and left him on the road just west of Caldera. He'll also ask you to help recover his family's ancient heirloom, the Axe Cloud Cleaver. On your way. When asked about his encounter with the witch, he will tell you that they had met on the road on the way to Caldera. They began talking and soon set up camp together. That night, Lorimar claims she revealed her true nature. 
He will ask you to accompany him to slay the witch and recover Cloud Cleaver. He tells us that she fled to the northwest, not too far from the first Nord we encountered, Hissen. While it isn't known if this is the same witch, it is oddly suspicious that she's so close to both men. Follow the trail northwest and then north at the fork in the road. As you come to the bend, leading the trail up into the hills, try to get some distance from Lorimar. He plans to crack skulls first and ask questions later, and it's worthwhile to get the other side of this story from our culprit, yes, who's nice. anything but hostile. This is Socia Karastina. She calmly explains that she took Lorimar on as a traveling companion for protection along the road to Caldera, but that he was getting entirely too friendly with her. She then cast a sleep spell on him and stripped him of his clothes to teach him a lesson. As a precaution, she also took his axe so that he wouldn't murder her to death in retaliation. She can see that he hasn't calmed down yet and offers to meet with Lormar at the Mage's Guild in Caldera in three days time and return his belongings so that he has a chance to cool off first. She then asks you to deliver this offer to Lormar. This is a terrible plan and shows that Socia probably doesn't have much experience dealing with enraged Nords. If you return to Lormar and tell him that you you're siding with Socia, he'll be less than thrilled and add you to his hit list. If you then kill him and return to Socia, she'll express her regret that he had to die and decide that his axe needs to be left with someone more competent and capable, which isn't you. Instead of giving the player the axe, she hands you a few potions and that's that. If you instead return to Lormar and tell him Socia's offer but side with him, Socia will become hostile to the both of you, leading her to a swift end. In her inventory, we'll find the axe Lormar was so upset at losing, Cloud Cleaver. This two-handed steel battle axe boasts a maximum attack of 1 to 36 points and deals an additional 1 to 25 points of shock damage per strike. Lormar will immediately ask for his axe to be returned in exchange for a permanent plus 2 boost to your strength attribute. Now it's important to remember how dangerous the wastes of Ardenfell can be, especially if you're running around naked. Sure would be a shame if something were to happen to our new friend here. Mm. Oh no, he suddenly died. Well, we wouldn't want such a fine axe to just waste away out here. Cloud Cleaver will make a fine addition to any barbarian build, offering a strong shock enchantment designed to split your foes like lightning through a cloud. Before we go, I have an honorable mention for today's list. For that, we'll need to make our way down to Mournhold from the Tribunal expansion. There in the plaza of Brindisi Dorum, most eyes are drawn to the grand statue commemorating Amalexia's defeat of Mayrun's Dagon back in the First Era, but that's a story for another day. For now, we need to head to the western corner of the plaza, behind a large white obelisk. On your there way. we'll find another naked Nord, Forstang the Sweltering. Speaking to him reveals that no, he isn't paralyzed and he's never met any witches. He's only standing around naked because Southern Morrowind is, in his own words, too damned hot. On top of that, he's sick and tired of everyone assuming that any time they see a naked Nord, there has to be a witch involved. Well, being told off by a naked guy hiding in the bushes at the park is as good a way as any to close out, yet I can't help but feel like this isn't the last time we'll be making our way to Mournhold. So if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful to your Morrowind experience, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. We have new videos coming out every week, so there's always something new to check out. Until next time, I've been Get Shiver, and I'll see you in the next one. Later!